नमस्कार वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑन ब्रिज मंथ प्रोग्राम फॉर ग्रेट सिक्स एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज इंग्लिश दिस ब्रिज कोर्स हैज बिन डेवलप फॉर ग्रेट सिक्स इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज लर्निंग एंड टीचिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ हैज द नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एनविजन लैंग्वेज लर्निंग एंड टीचिंग द नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी स्टेट्स दैट all languages are to be taught in an engaging and interactive style with plenty of interpersonal conversation now what do we understand by interpersonal conversation conversation among students with the teacher with parents and also with the community language learning is critical for the development of the individual which is a continuum across stages from the preparatory stage to middle stage and so on languages enable students to understand the world around them acquire knowledge and develop the competencies thus developing their ability to express ideas and feelings to be creative think critically and be able to use language proficiently thus the focus is on developing listening speaking reading and writing along with the other competencies such as developing vocabulary and grammar in context let us try to understand what are curricular goals competencies and learning outcomes the national curriculum framework for school education 2023 envisions a competency based syllabus for language education NCFSC 2023 has given curricular goals competencies and have given clear direction as to what content is to be used for creating learning experiences for students the curricular goals are statements that give directions to curriculum development and implementation by the time the child reaches grade 6 they will have basic knowledge and skills in english language vocabulary and grammatical structures reading and writing thus the vision for language learning is to develop knowledge appropriate capacities competencies and desirable moral and democratic values keeping this in view bridge month program has been provided for the students and the teachers now let us try to understand the objectives of this bridge course you must have gathered that the objectives are also to enable the students to understand the world around them so that they acquire knowledge to develop the competencies so that they are able to express their ideas and feelings in an effective manner so we can say that to develop their reading writing listening speaking skills so that they communicate effectively to help them develop vocabulary grammar in context because we expect them to be creative think critically and use the language appropriately in different context and for this we have to make reading and learning classes not only full of fun but also motivational at the same time we need to provide customized learning experience because every child has different learning levels and needs the learning needs of the students must be understood and accordingly activities can be planned for effective learning now what type of activities can be taken up the activities that can be taken up in the class are there are a few suggestions role play simulating real to life situations dramatizing and miming interpreting information from a given poster or a notice using newspaper clippings using language games riddles puzzles and jokes interpreting pictures sketches cartoons discussing and sharing ideas narrating and discussing stories anecdotes etc reciting poems 
working in pairs and groups and using media input wherever possible. And you can add to the list. These are a few suggestions. You can do other activities as well. Now, to deal with this, what should be the pedagogical process to enhance the learning and teaching of languages? The learning and teaching of languages need to be enhanced through innovative and experiential methods, including through gamification and apps, by weaving in the cultural aspects of the language such as storytelling, films, theater, poetry and music, and by drawing connections with various relevant subjects across the curriculum and most importantly with real life experiences of the children. We need to follow a balanced approach and children's life experiences have to be kept in mind. Content should be derived from children's life experiences which they can relate to so that they enjoy and, and they will have interest in that. It should also reflect the cultural, geographical and social context in which the child is developing and growing up. So therefore, the local context of the child is very, very important. It may vary from you know place to place. Therefore, the teachers have to bring in those authentic materials into the classroom. Content should be tied to capacities and values that students need to develop through the stages of schooling. Special care should be taken to avoid any kind of stereotypes. And what should be the context? Local context, local environment. These are important considerations for the choice of content. Moving from familiar to unfamiliar, from factual to imaginary that is creative is an important aspect of learning and the content should contain a balance of both familiar context that is a comfort for children and unfamiliar context that should generate curiosity and challenge to their thoughts and preferences. Now that we are talking about activities, we are talking about pedagogy, content, context, as we all know that assessment has to go along with the teaching learning process. So let us begin with reading. How do we assess that? We need to assess the students on their comprehension of the text and meaning making of stories, poems, short plays, short talks and authentic materials. So all these things have to be introduced to the students. You can bring short stories, you can bring jokes, graphic stories, comic strips and you can use a variety of questions to assess their comprehension. For example, you can use MCQ, short answer questions, sequencing, putting a tick mark, match the following, true and false. You can bring materials such as rhymes, jokes, riddles and tongue twisters in speech and writing to make learning interesting and enjoyable. Now, the next question is, how do we motivate the students to read on their own? I think we all, you know, face this problem. Encourage them to read text of their own choice. They can choose a cartoon strip. They can choose a comic book, a graphic story, a short story, Panchatantra tales, Jataka tales. There are many literary pieces around us. And then encourage them to read it and discuss with their peers, groups and the teacher. Another strategy can be participating in reading melas and choosing a text of their interest. And after reading it, making and displaying book covers, then making bookmarks, masks, posters, puppets based on their readings and thus motivating them to read on their own. Now we come to writing. For writing also, give them writing tasks wherein they express their feelings on personal and social events such as fairs, festivals, functions and occasions. You should give topics wherein they bring in their own narrative and move away from rote learning. 
there are some steps that need to be followed before they start writing. First is brainstorming. Now, this is collecting ideas. Now, if it is a common topic, you can have a brainstorming session in the class and collect the ideas collectively. Well, if it is an individual task, the child can do research, they can read about it, they can discuss with their peers, they can discuss with the teacher. Once they have jotted down the ideas, they write the first draft. Then they review their own work. Now, review process can be peer review. Two friends can exchange their task, they can discuss whether they can change the words or they can shift the sentences, they can change the paragraphs or not. So, in a way they are getting feedback. Finally, when they have received the feedback, they start revising it. They can add new words, they can see that the paragraph is having a proper beginning, middle and end and then they write the final draft for submission. So, it is a process that needs to be followed. You may assess their writing on use of appropriate vocabulary, structures, spellings, punctuation marks, appropriate introduction, middle and conclusion. So, these are some of the things you have to keep in mind and give them enough practice. It is a good idea to maintain a portfolio for assessment and also record your observations and use a rubric to assess the writing tasks. Now, we come to vocabulary and grammar which should take place every day. Do a range of vocabulary activities, encourage them to use dictionary, encourage them to read a variety of texts, ask them to list new words, find out the contextual meaning. If they are not able to find, encourage them to refer to the dictionary. You may take examples from different content areas across the curriculum to assess their use of words in a variety of contexts. Then you can assess the students on learning new words from familiar and unfamiliar texts and their ability to infer the contextual meaning and also their ability to use them in their own context. If some students are not able to do so, then you may give a simpler vocabulary activity as per their age, interest and levels given a list of a few vocabulary activities that you can take up in the classroom. It is on your screens, synonyms, antonyms, homophones, homonyms, anagrams, alliteration, simile, metaphor, personification, hyperbole, etc. Now, let us talk about listening and speaking. They are two important competencies that need to be developed. So, when you are assessing the students, assess them for their expression, body language, questioning, responding to questions, analyzing and describing something. So, all these things have to be kept in mind and give them enough opportunities. We have to make sure that assessment for learning happens in the classroom. If some students are not able to do so, then provide multiple opportunities to engage with the text. Similarly, assessment as learning provide learners with self-assessment rubrics such as checklists. You can use other tools and techniques such as observation, checklist, rubric and portfolio as per the activity to assess the students. While the teaching learning process is going on, it is important for the teacher to assess and monitor the students learning focusing on identifying different levels of learning appropriateness of the activity for that grade and finding out what the student has learned. Continuous assessment during teaching learning will also provide inputs, feedback to teachers to improve their own teaching methods. If some method is not working, some strategy is not working, you may change it. But make sure that learning is full of fun and happiness. Now, I will share a few examples of activities with you. The first one is recite and enjoy the tongue twister. The tongue twister here is ice cream, ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. 
it is a simple one, but you can give other difficult ones to the students. Now ask the students to try and create some tongue twisters. Write down words you find a bit difficult to pronounce. See if you can create a tongue twister from these words. Which kind of words and phrases can twist your tongue? That means make it difficult to pronounce and create your own tongue twister. It will be fun. Now you can share jokes in the classroom or you can encourage students to share jokes among themselves. Uh, there are a couple of jokes here. I will read one. Teacher asks, if you have 5 rupees and you asked your brother to give you another 5, how much money would you have? Manas says, 5 only. So the teacher says, you can't do simple math. So Manas replies, you don't know my brother. So he, because he is not going to give his share to his brother. So similarly, there is another joke. Uma asks her brother, if you have 20 cows and 10 goats, what would you have? Anand says, lots of milk. Again, Anand was supposed to add it, but he has taken a different turn to it. Now, when we come to vocabulary, we can do a lot of activities. Here, I have an example of homonyms. Homonyms are words that have different meanings, but are pronounced the same or spelled the same. Therefore, they are called homonyms. Read the examples and practice saying them aloud. You can think of other examples and share with your class. In groups, you can ask the students to have a list of homonyms and then use them in different sentences because students must learn how to use them in their own context. Now, some of the words are weak, weak, sun, sun, see, see, plain, plain, there, there fair, fair, break, break. So, they are just the same. There is another activity. I have given a list of words. They are on your screen. Now, add one letter to this particular word and make a new word. The word is sage. Which letter can we use to make a new word? Letter U, usage. The next word is war. So, if I add the letter S in front of W, it becomes swore. I have done two examples for you. There are some more words on your screen. I am sure you will enjoy doing it. Now, let us move on to the third activity. It says, change one letter in each of the words to make new words. Look at the meanings for help. This activity has been given in three columns. In the first column, the word has been given. In the second column, one letter has been changed and a new word has been coined and in the third column the meaning of the new word has been given. The first word is bold. Now I have changed the letter B into C. I have made it cold. Now the meaning of cold is not hot. Next example is the word is black and the meaning is an obstacle. We have to change only one letter so that it means an obstacle. We can change A into O. It will become block. So, an obstacle. Similarly, look at the third word, lack and the meaning says fortune. We need to change the word lack into a word which will have the meaning as fortune. So, can we change the letter A into U? It will become luck. So, that is fortune. So, there are more words on your screen. Do the activity on your own. I am sure you will enjoy doing it. Now, we come to listening and speaking. For listening and speaking, group discussion is a great idea. You can have a group discussion on the topic water and how to save it. The following points may be kept in mind while discussing. You can scaffold the learners. You can tell them ideas. Water is the source of life. Without water, there cannot be any life. Value of water and need to conserve and save it. So, these are the points that you have given to the students to speak. They will be able to share brilliant ideas. 
we all know that water is important for our lives. Then later on you can ask them that on an A4 sheet make an effective poster with a meaningful slogan on save water. So we are integrating learning with art and children love to do drawing, they love to create something. Now second activity can be give instructions to your friend about how to make a greeting card. Now you are giving instructions to the students or it is a pair activity, the other person is listening, so it is a great listening activity, they are listening and doing. First you provide them with the things, color card sheet, paper, a pen, glue, pencil, scissors, scale and then once you have given all the instructions, ask them to create their own card, write the message. It can be a birthday message or it can be you know good luck for exams, good luck for sports etc. Write your message, cut out different shapes from a different color to decorate your card, make it beautiful and then give it to your friend. Now we are going to talk about grammar in context. As you all know children must learn grammar while using it. So here is an activity. Fill in the blanks with appropriate form of the verb. From the context itself, the learners have to find out the appropriate usage of the word go. I will do one for you. Children dash to the market today and the word is go. So went to the market today. So there are few more sentences, please do it on your own and enjoy, you can add more to it. Then we come to the writing activity. Give activities that children can relate to. For example, you can ask the students to describe their daily routine in about 10 sentences. But at the same time, because they have just come from class 5 to class 6, we need to scaffold, we need to give them appropriate vocabulary. You may use the following words and phrases. Uh, there is a list of words that is given, get up, wash up, tidy up, make my bed, get dressed for school, I have lunch, I play with friends. Ask children to add more phrases and words to this list. Now they can create sentences about it because they have an idea. Similarly, you can ask them to write about their favorite holiday. And again you can give them hints how to begin a sentence, I went, I saw, I learned, I ate, I enjoyed and then you encourage them to use adjectives because when they are describing something, appropriate use of adjectives will make the writing interesting and beautiful and encourage them to write clear and simple sentences, then later on you can ask them to organize the ideas in a short paragraph and also tell them to use appropriate linkers. For example, so, but, and, because, these are very simple linkers but as they move on, as they learn more words, you can encourage them to use linkers such as therefore, thus, whereas, wherein to connect two sentences and have a flow in their writing. Now I am going to talk about library work. NCFSC 2023 has given lot of emphasis on going to the library and reading books on their own. Ask the children to go to the library, choose the story book and read it. Now after reading the book or the story of their choice, it could be you know a common book for the whole class or an individual selection. If it is a common book then everyone can have a discussion as a class discussion. If it is an individual selection then probably the child can present the idea or about the book in front of the whole class. Students can make posters on that, cartoon strips or they can narrate the story, they can describe some event, they can draw speech bubbles, 
they can do anything or if it is a collective reading they can enact one scene they can talk about how characters in that particular story are speaking so role play or skit can be conducted to check whether learners have understood the story or not group activity each group should be given a plot or a character or a chapter which they will read or they will interpret and share their views now we come to reading reading is very important as i have already shared with you that share familiar context then move on to the unfamiliar context so here is a passage please read the passage because it's a reading task so i will not be reading it for you you read it it is followed by a few questions the title of the passage is water so precious and then do the questions and i am sure you will enjoy doing it there are a variety of questions that are given here thank you thank you so much for being with us Thank you.